Hey everybody, uh, Cruising here with Cruising East Garage and the GL Forum. And I thought I would take a few minutes today to talk about all the speculation surrounding this new 2018 Honda Goldwing uh, that we've been hearing so much about. So I'm going to show some pictures. We're going to show kind of what we know, what we don't know. And honestly, uh, what we don't know is much more than what we know. Um, everything right now is pretty much speculation. One thing we do know, Honda's making a big announcement on Tuesday, October 24th, this coming Tuesday, and there's a lot of evidence to suggest they're going to be announcing a new Goldwing model, possibly even a new Goldwing and F6D. Now, um, I'm going to go through and take a look at some of the pictures that we have uh, as far as leaked photos, and some of these are actual photographs, some of them are artist renderings, but we're going to take a look at this and see what, what can we derive from these photos. And also, we have a lot of information that was given to the GL Forum uh, from one of our members, Rocky, who uh, claims to have a friend uh, who actually test rode this new prototype Goldwing in California back in June. We actually broke the story on the GL Forum about this new Goldwing before anybody else. So... Um, I have a lot of confidence in, in what Rocky has said, and I'm going to assume that a lot of the things that he's told us on the forum are accurate, and we're going to figure that into what we're going to talk about today. Also, uh, Wing Stuff, which is one of our GL Forum sponsors, has weighed in with some of their own speculation, uh, looking at these leaked photos, and we're going to look at that as well. And then I have my own views on this. So let's talk about... The, the new Goldwing, you know, as far as what we do know. Now, the first leaked photo I want to take a look at is this full-on uh, left-side photo of a 2018 Goldwing. What can we tell from this photo, assuming that everything on this photograph is going to be reality? Well, the first thing we, we notice, or the first thing I noticed, is down toward the engine, uh, you have some exposed headers. In this case, they're chrome. We've seen some other pictures where they're blacked out, so they're probably going to have a blacked out model as well. But these exposed headers actually look pretty cool, look a little sportier uh, than the current setup, so there's no cowl uh, hiding those headers anymore. Uh, the second thing you notice is the obvious electric windscreen. Uh, it appears to be an electric windscreen. And then, of course, the, the all-new bodywork uh, throughout the bike. Um, you can also see the engine guards, which are much less prominent on this model than they are on the current Goldwing. And there's also saddlebag guards toward the rear of the bike. They're, they're subtle, but they're there. Uh, we can also tell that it appears that the passenger backrest is higher up uh, than the current Goldwing. And there's also some different lighting and things like that, which we can tell a little more later on. What, what's a mystery is this bike does have a what appears to be in the picture a clutch lever and that would indicate that they will be offering a manual speed uh, five-speed or six-speed transmission as an option. Uh, we have heard a lot of rumors to suggest there will be a DCT model which is a uh, dual clutch transmission but basically like an automatic transmission with a manual mode and this picture does show a clutch lever so it could theoretically be some sort of a parking brake, but uh, I think it's safe to say that uh, in Honda's case, it's, it could be a clutch lever. Now, what I don't see is I don't see a shifter lever down toward the bottom, but this photograph is, is really not high resolution. It's really hard to see that. And I'm not even sure if this is a photograph or an artist rendering. I think it's a photograph, but I can't really tell. Now, what I don't see here, uh, which is interesting, is I can't see any kind of cubbies in the rear um, you know, back where the passenger sits. I also don't see any uh, speakers. So uh, maybe they've uh, photoshopped that out for now. I'm not sure what they did on this. The saddlebags and trunk look pretty similar to what we have now, even though hopefully they match. But we don't have any images of the rear of the bike. Uh, so we won't know what that looks like uh, until it comes out. Now, what you can tell from this photo is you can tell that they have completely redesigned the front suspension. It's a whole new system now, similar to maybe what BMW has with the paralever 
uh, suspension in the front. We no longer have the two fork tubes coming down. You have a, a single shock system. Um, and uh, we'll show a picture here in a minute that actually gives a little more detail on that, on what it looks like. The, um, what we don't know, another suspicious, another suspicious item is on the trunk. I'm not sure what that is back there. I'm not sure if that's a, is that a spoiler? Or is it some sort of a camera or other sensing device? It's really kind of hard to tell from this photograph of what that is. Of course, you can tell there's all new lighting, uh, all new bodywork. And um, as we go through some of these photos, you'll see even more. And also a rider backrest, which uh, there's more evidence of that. I don't think it's going to be a standard option or a standard feature, but it uh, certainly will be an option uh, that's easy to add. So now let's go take a look at the suspension view, which we talked about. Let me get down here where I can see it. And what this shows us, all the bodywork has been removed, the seats removed, and we can kind of see the frame looks very similar to what we have now. I'm sure there's changes. Uh, you can also tell there it is still a flat six boxer engine. Uh, even though different, it does look like a different engine. And all the rumors I've read suggest that it is an 1,833cc engine. Uh, one magazine uh, speculates it's 126 horsepower. I, I've seen no real verification of that. And of course, we won't know until Honda tells us exactly what it is. But here you get a really good look at that front suspension. Now, Wing Stuff speculates that they, in this, in this photograph, they somehow see some sort of a, a stick shaker uh, mechanism. I, I can't tell where that would be. They probably are more knowledgeable about that than I am. But that would indicate that the bike could be equipped with some kind of a lane assist or lane departure warning system to kind of maybe vibrate either the seat or the, or the handlebars to let you know you've gone out of your lane. Don't know what that could be used for. Here you can also see the engine guards a little clearer. And you can tell that there are brand new, a brand new wheel design. So let's move to the top view, which is rather interesting because this shows and reveals to us that the, the bike has a much slimmer overall design. Uh, we're speculating that the, uh, I've heard speculation. Some say the bike is up to 90 pounds lighter. That's a lot of weight to cut off of a Goldwing. That's almost 10%. So. I find that hard to believe, but we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but obviously it does appear to be a slimmer design, uh, perhaps even a little sportier than the current Goldwing, and um, it theoretically then it could be lighter weight. However, if there is a DCT transmission, in this photograph you can see there is no clutch lever. So that would be an indication uh, there is a DCT option, which I think is actually amazing. What you can also tell from this photo is there is a fuel filler cap with no key, so it's a keyless uh, opening, and uh, what appears to be, similar to the current Goldwing, uh, an airbag uh, cubby, uh, which on a non-airbag model would be a just a cubby for storage. Now, that would indicate, and I have heard rumors, that they will be offering an airbag option for the new Goldwing. I'm a little surprised by that, but that's it. Now you can also see a, a new center console there. We'll show more detail. Um, you can also see new mirrors. The mirrors have been redesigned. They now stick out from the housings and um, looks a little more interesting. The trunk, again, to me, looks a little bit smaller than the current trunk on the current model Goldwing, and I would say the saddlebags maybe even look a little tighter and smaller than what we have. You can tell the footrests for the rider are identical, but notice that behind the rider seat, it is obviously a newly designed seat, but you'll notice a plug uh, where they have designed the seat to accept a rider backrest. You no longer have to you know, cut through your seat with a, a kitchen knife to install a Utopia or some other brand backrest. Okay, now let's take a look at the front of the bike. This is probably the most revealing uh, and high quality image, uh, one of the most high quality they've provided us. Here you can see it has all new LED lighting. 
Uh, we have uh, what looks like some DRLs in the front, driving lights, and all the new uh, lighting appears to be LED. In the center between the two, what I'm assuming are the low beam headlights, I'm not sure, is that, is that a camera? It, could that be some sort of a sensing device? Uh, not really sure, but it looks like there's something there in between the two headlights. Also, you see a much closer uh, reveal of the electric windscreen. And you'll notice a little, uh, mm, like a pop-up, uh, what could be a pop-up uh, panel uh, on the top of the dash. There's a lot of speculation as to what that could be. I've heard some people suggest it's simply a vent um, uh, to you know, bring air onto the rider. I find that hard to believe because of the design of the windshield itself, air will come up underneath that windscreen uh, to provide ventilation. But some have suggested it could be some sort of a either heads-up display or it could be some sort of a camera like maybe a front-facing camera or another auto-sensing device like a lane departure warning or something. We, we just don't know. Uh, there is an image where it shows a guy riding down the, the highway on this bike, and you can see that that little panel is popped up. So we're not sure what that does yet, but it could be a vent. Another very interesting image is this new console that sits just in front of the rider just ahead of the uh, fuel filler cap. And this is implies a lot of tech has been added to the new Goldwing. Uh, you can clearly see there are some set select buttons, probably for the radio, maybe even the GPS. Uh, you have a, a jog dial. Um, you see nav buttons, uh, audio buttons, so you can switch between speakers and headset. We don't know. We, we have heard that it's rumored that there will be Bluetooth audio on the new Goldwing, so you can use your Bluetooth headsets. What we don't know is will they still offer a plug-in version. It'd be nice for those of us who still like to use a cord and plug-in. But um, you see an info button, which is probably similar to the way the info button works on the current Goldwing. And uh, this just looks like a very clean uh, interface, but what you also notice at the very top of this console is a keyless ignition. There's no key. So there's probably some sort of a wireless key fob that you keep in your pocket uh, and it, like a, a automatic start or push button start uh, like you have on a lot of cars nowadays and some motorcycles. And that's further uh, emphasized when you look at the right hand uh, controls on the bike. You'll notice that there is the what you, we sometimes call a kill switch or an engine off switch and that looks to be doubling as a starter button. So my guess is if you've got the key fob in your pocket uh, all you have to do is turn that top knob to on, hit that uh, starter button. If you rock it back forward it's a kill switch. If you press it down towards you it's a starter button. That makes a lot of sense. Now let's take a look at these other controls while we're here. You can see the hazard light button, which is pretty standard. Now the center button, we don't really know what that is. That could have something to do with the DCT transmission. Uh, it could be uh, forward and reverse parking controls, uh, which we've heard rumored this bike will have both forward and reverse uh, for parking. Uh, but I'm leaning toward maybe some sort of DCT uh, shift options. It could also be something to do with uh, uh, ride modes or something like that. Now on the left side control, we not very clear pictures. We don't. It's hard to see the the type and the text on these, so we can't really tell clearly what this is. They did a good job of leaking this in such a way that we don't know a lot. But it looks like you've got a joystick where you can move around the screen, uh, left, right, up, down, and then an enter button. You can see the horn button, which is white. And down at the bottom, there's another long white button. And that would, uh, I would assume that's some sort of DCT downshift button. Typically, an upshift will be on the front side of the hand controls. Um, 
You've got a speak button, which is very interesting. That implies that if the bike does have Bluetooth, or I guess even if you are plugged in, that the bike has audio control that you can give it verbal commands. For example, if you want to play uh, FM 105.3, you just simply press that button and say FM 103 and it will change the, uh, the station for you. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot of different audio commands. It could also connect to your Bluetooth telephone so that you could answer the phone or dial the numbers like call home and it would connect to your phone and do uh, whatever's necessary there. So um, that's pretty interesting. You can also see the top switches uh, are very blurry, hard to see, but I'm going to assume that may be an up-down uh, rocker switch for the electric windscreen. So uh, again, we're just kind of guessing at this. There's a couple of other buttons on there that it's so hard to see uh, what those icons are. Um, I know Wing Stuff has suggested it could be like a lane departure, turning that on or off, some sort of a, like Honda Sensing has on their cars, uh, to, could be adaptive cruise control. We just don't know at this point. We're going to know in three or four days. Let's take a look at the dashboard. Now this is very interesting. It's another decent picture. You can see there's a lot of information. Looks like a 7-inch color screen. Um, looks like it's probably a better quality screen than what we have right now. <clears throat> and I'm assuming we're going to be, the GPS will use this same screen, obviously. Um, you have an electronic fuel gauge, and it has been rumored that this will show you miles per gallon, uh, your current miles per gallon, how many miles you have left on the tank, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, you also notice an electronic gear indicator. So, something a lot of us have been asking for for a long time. Now on the right hand side you'll notice um, where it says Tour. Now that implies ride modes. So this could be a DCT feature most likely if you have the DCT option. Uh, but it, it theoretically could also work in, in uh, manual transmission too. But this would adjust the power uh, that goes to the rear wheel or it could determine suspension settings, or it could be a variety of things that these ride modes, sometimes you have a tour, sometimes you have an eco, uh, maybe a sport mode, uh, maybe rain, and if you're in the rain mode, it puts less uh, power to the rear wheel. It probably ties in somehow with the ABS and the traction control, which it's been rumored that this bike will have traction control. Now, you also notice uh, the speakers are lower down on the dash, they're underneath the dash. Uh, which is fine with me. I don't ever use my speakers. I use everything through the helmet. Um, you can also, once again, see that little panel on top of the dash uh, that, pop, that pops up in theory. Uh, again, we don't know what that is, and maybe it is just a vent. It could just be something that simple. Or is it radar or camera? We just don't know. Now, let's just do a little speculation on this new Goldwing based on these pictures and based on what you know everybody out there in the rumor mill has been saying. We assume it's slimmer, lighter, up to 90 pounds lighter, some people say. That would be pretty significant. If the bike is 90 pounds lighter and truly does have 126 horsepower, uh, that's going to make a big difference. That's going to be a huge increase in performance. Um, We've heard rumors that there's both a new bagger and a tour model. Uh, so like what they now call an F6B, they may stick with that. They may call it something else. We don't know yet. Um, it's been rumored by one magazine that there'll be five different models. There'll be two bagger models, one with a manual transmission, one with the DCT. And there'll be three of the tour models with the, with the uh, tour pack or top box, trunk, whatever you want to call it. And those three models are rumored to be a base model, which has a manual transmission. Uh, the second model would have the DCT transmission. And the third model would have the DCT plus the airbag. Now, that's all we know. That's pure speculation. And we don't know what other options would come in those various uh, formats. We also are speculating that there will be a DCT transmission 
and possibly a manual transmission also. I can't imagine Honda coming out with a new Goldwing and only offering DCT. There's a lot of people out there that still like manual transmission. We're speculating that it will have some sort of keyless ignition, that you won't have to use a key uh, to get to the fuel filler door or to start the bike. Um, we have heard rumors from multiple sources that there is a forward and reverse in the parking uh, the electric parking, rever what we have now is a reverse, and you'd also have forward as well. I'm not sure if that's even really necessary, but it'd be pretty nice to have. Um, we also can speculate that this Honda has invested a, quite a bit of research and money into this new front suspension. Thank God, let's, let's hope it's an improvement over what we have now, because the front suspension on the current Goldwing is woefully... Uh, under-engineered to handle a bike that size. So we could speculate with this new suspension that will have improved handling, uh, possibly even a smoother ride uh, going down the road, but we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, we're speculating more power, sportier design, um, the day of the big lumbering, touring, grand touring model Goldwing may be gone. This may be more along the lines of a super sport touring bike as opposed to a what we think of as a Goldwing like the GL1500 or the GL1800. This may be more of a just a mega sport bike with a touring capability. So these are just some of the things that I've thought of. I'd look forward to your comments, uh, post them on YouTube. Uh, don't forget to go to the GL forum. We're covering this stuff every day on the GL forum. And I'll be back here Tuesday night uh, after Honda has the big reveal, uh, and we'll talk more about what we actually know about this new Goldwing should it be revealed on Tuesday. Thanks for now, and we'll see you on the GeoForum.